Well, I suppose it's time to get back to work on um, the extra maps on Phantom Brave. But to do that, we're going to have to visit the um, Dungeon Monk, because we need to clear out a f dungeon, you know, with a certain number of floors on it, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah, go to a dungeon. I already made one, yeah. Not this one, that's for later. Um, uh, much later. I, I want to go to this one. I need to clear one out with enemies that are going to be level 300 plus on the final floor, you know, because we got to clear a 30 floor dungeon. Which is why we picked a number of enemies as few. I could have put failure on this dungeon and it'd probably still meet the requirements, I assume, but I figure it's not necessary because we have a pretty potent weapon at this point, and there's not too many enemies that we should have to take out anyway. So, you know, I want to have my fun. Should I try and steal some stuff along the way? Well, this stuff's too low level to matter anyway. And yeah, I know, my health regeneration's kind of crazy at this point. Okay, take you out. And yeah, I know, I need to make my weapon more powerful. It's not enough yet. <laughs> Yes, I'm hitting for over 100,000 damage, but it's still not enough, okay? It'll never be enough. At least that's the way it feels. Eh, whatever. Whoever's easiest. Okay. Now to go punch, uh... Yeah, there is an enemy holding that tree. I'm like, it's moving. That must mean it's grooving. Okay, we actually can pick up some experience here. In failure dungeons, it's a, you don't get experience because it gets dropped. That is a downside, I suppose. But, you know, leveling up by beating up enemies isn't particularly efficient. Usually it's better to do uh, bonuses from uh, clearing floors. Which is why the best way to level up to max is basically going into a high-level dungeon, just going really, really deep with powerful equipment. So dungeons that prohibit equipment tend to be your greatest enemy, because you're like, I need that gear, man. Otherwise, you can have really high base stats, which means going through reincarnation, which I haven't done yet. And I don't even think you can do it with Morona, potentially. Because you gotta have a character that's like knocked out to even try and reincarnate them, but maybe she can do it. I mean, you can jump on her head on the island and knock her out that way. Maybe. Okay, we'll take you out there. I know, I know. We should have uh, tried getting an area that was also small and few enemies, but honestly, even getting this much was a bit of a pain. Like, getting the perfect, perfect dungeon would just be too time-consuming. Like, I only got so much time in the day to spend on that, you know? It might take me, you know, a while to clear even all the floors for this. Even on, a, on standard size. And yeah, this is a uh, standard. Okay, send you flying. These poor enemies have no idea what they're in for. Okay, can I even get to that boar, or am I going to have to hit something else? Oh, come on. Fine, I'll take out the tree. We just did too much hopping. I want to slide out here. And yeah, don't pick Slippery Grounder, it's going to be a real mess for something like this. It always is. I hate Slippery. But yeah, we're getting quite a bit of bonus experience. Oh, we get Groundbreaker as a skill with that equipment? Nice. Okay, there was an easy striking range. Could some of that stuff have decent titles on it? Eh, probably. I'm not particularly worried about that. Oh, there's a dragon over here. Cool. So it doesn't look like a particularly good dragon. Oh, it's unholy? Okay. Oh. Yep. More floors to go. Gosh darn. No one said this wasn't going to be time consuming. 
mean, I only have one good weapon, really, this phase. Some would argue I should definitely spread out a bit more, and it's not the best pick, but whatever. Okay, now the real trick. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for that old man to come down here, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can find a bottle up here, I suppose. Okay, you got quick attack, Kurt. Help me out, will you? Just lift this old man, please, and throw him within range. Thank you. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> That's the power of the bottle. Hopefully no one else is going to be that high up on me. For at least a couple floors. At least there is an item up there I could use for something like that. Sometimes there isn't, you know? And I can't afford to leave. I'd have to basically kill turns and hope the old guy came down and tried to take my stuff. And hope he couldn't steal from me. His stealing is at least based part on levels, so... He may have been out of, uh, luck. He were on may have, I suppose. Oh, there's a free level. Okay, well, EX punch you. Yeah, I was hoping that'd be the end of it, but yeah, there's more enemies over here. Okay. Just take that out. You do get experience for destroying items, so there's no reason not to kill them. Though maybe I should try and stop sitting so low in my chair, so my mouse like, getting cut off. I oh, don't know, I like to slump a bit. Why sit up straight while you're playing a video game, you know? Why well, worry about how bad my back's gonna be in the future? And another level up. Not that levels mean much. I mean, almost all my power comes from this vase being ungodly at this point. And it's still not even the perfect weapon. I could go further with it. It's just a matter of, a uh, time, you know? Well, I've already got 70-some hours on this save file at this point. Ah, uh, more combo trees. Gaia Dragon? You know, that sounds cool. Too bad I can't use it. Because I doubt me I have anyone with enough, you know, energy of that type to perform the attack. But it sounds spectacular. I guess I could technically do some profit punching. Gravity! It's gonna bring you down, man. Unfortunately, the amount of money you get for that is uh, based on how many times you profit punch someone for the died. So we're not going to get much for that. And hopefully these enemies don't start to outspeed me, because I'd hate for this to be for nothing. <sighs> we still got like 20 floors to go. Okay, we've been dominating so far. And yeah, money has no real meaning at this point. I have more gosh darn money than I know what to do with. The only reason to waste time on money is just cause, you know? I mean, the experience farming is just as pointless, because I'm going to get way more from the level boost. Oh, great, a money stage. Okay. Well, two for one. Thank 
you out. Oh, are these guys all sleeping? <sighs> and out of bounds. I suppose I can just throw enemies out of bounds with the bottles and level up that way. By taking out some higher level enemies. Ah, an orange tree. I like it. But not enough to steal it. Even if it is golden. That it? Okay, that's 13 stages. Massive wad of cash, but still I have nothing no real use for it. Okay, another kill. Starting to get up to the... 10,000 range on health, some of these guys. Huh? 10,000 plus. I think that monster had 12,000 something. It's nowhere near enough, though. Not when I'm hitting for, you know, over 100,000. Well, I kind of prefer to Sky, where that stuff would pop up, you know, as, you know, 100k or whatever. It just looks more impressive that way. Okay, take you out, and boom, another one bites the dust, another one bites the dust, and we're almost halfway there. Okay, and profit punch this guy. Well, probably not going to be the end of the stage, is it? Oh, it is. They're all grouped up together. Nice. In a sacred tree this time. Lightning Spear. Now you're making me think of Shield Hero. Okay, I'll take that out. Oh, there's an enemy over here. Okay. A little scrab it. Set apart is the best area I'd probably want to find is one with weeds. Sounds weird, but weeds have the best speed boosting stats, so there's something you'd want to farm a lot of. Um, at least if you want a really fast weapon. And speed is true power in this game, as we can see, because I'm getting all these turns and the enemies don't get to do anything. Problem is, these en the weapons are still too low level. Like, they'd have to be max level to really interest me. Because I'm already stealing max level stuff to level up my gear at this point. Like, that's why that one stage was at, you know, max level. Because that's how high level gear I can steal with my bottles. At least the higher level ones. Like, it's just in the bag. In the... <laughs> oh, man. Fish carnival, eh? Weird. Well, you'll be the first to die, my friend. Loot. Doesn't look like a musical instrument to me. Was he at like 20,000 hit points? Is that because it's a bonus stage or is that just going to be a thing? No. Yeah, apparently it's a thing. I missed. Oh gosh darn it. These enemies are also the super evasive ones, aren't they? Okay. Pyramid power, yep. Gosh darn it. I don't know if I can kill them. At this rate. Because their stupid status is making it hard to hit them. Okay. Pyramid power again. Well, 
got one of them. Ah, oh, jeez. Well. And I can only do as much damage as they have health, okay. Well, I ain't gonna finish him off. Got him. Okay. I hate these stages. Okay. I know they're meant to be gimmicky, but I'd rather just stick to the standard effects, you know? Makes the enemies a bit more predictable. And I don't have to waste so much power clearing out the trash mobs. Though admittedly I have a lot of that type because we keep spamming, you know, profit and experience punches on everything. Okay, I am not gonna make it. Am I? Oh, I probably could, I guess, if I fell. But is there any other enemies, you know, elsewhere I've, I got hit? As far as I can tell, no. Well, that's the end of that fight. Almost got a whole level. Nice. I suppose the experience punch would have helped a little bit, but I ain't worried about it. Like I said, levels are superfluous after a certain point. It's all about the the level of your f fusionist and your other support units, really. Having a high level fusionist helps make a fusion a bit cheaper, especially when you're dealing with higher level stuff. <sighs> Take you out. Okay. Get rid of you. Time to give you the kiss of death, zombie. Is that meant to be like an apple tree? Well, I guess there's some jokes we had there about apples and evil, but probably should just avoid that. Still haven't gotten over the speed penalty, though. Experience times three, huh? Okay. Well, let's punch out that tree, I guess. These guys are pretty slow. I don't expect them to do much. But I do want to level up my EXP punch. I'm not as worried about the mana punch, though. Because mana, you know, is much better gained from combo items and stuff. There's no reason to farm it using a punch. It's just too inefficient. Okay. I don't know why we didn't hit them. He was still within my range. But whatever. Take you out. Okay. Need to move over more that way. Can I make it? According to the game, yes. But, you know, when those uh, jumps come and stuff, you do get a bit of slight action there. It's unavoidable. Okay. We're almost done. Okay, we're going to have to go over here. And then still go up higher, right? Oh, well, at least it was something I could climb, I guess. That's not always the case. And, uh, get the crap out of you as well. I guess they're trying to play King of the Mountain. They just didn't realize they weren't as good as I am. 
Like, we're playing King of the Mountain! Well, it's not gonna save you. First, the real question is, what is the boss gonna have when I get to it? Because when we get to floor 30, it could be, you know, a massive power boost boss. And if it has high enough stats, it could be a problem. Or if it comes equipped with a good weapon, because I'm probably going to be hard-pressed to steal it. I mean, my bottles will try their best if it comes down to that. Okay, where on earth is the f Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm like to say, like, I don't see any enemies on the sides here. I guess he was being protected by the trees there. Be thankful that tree protected you, or I would have taken you out probably a bit sooner. And we're at floor 26 of 34. Okay. The real nightmare is when we gotta do one that requires like 60 and 90 floors. Because it'll take even longer to do this stuff. Oh man. Well, I'll take care of that. That should be fine. I need to get back over this way. Well, fine, I'll punch this tree out. Sorry, Nami, but, you know, it's for the EXPs. And, you know, I need to level up that punch. The higher it gets, the more damage it'll do, after all. And let's see, just punch you out. Um, let's see, I'll take out you next. Then we'll go after this tree. Get that enemy down. Then punch him in the face. I can move the, the length of this putty, so it's fine. I thought that enemy was down lower, just based on the perspective earlier, but no, he was on a tree. Neat trick, dude. Yeah, it's amazing how much more damage I get on the uh, other punch, just because of the level advantage. Okay, can I not get you? Like, yeah. Like, I could swear it was within, within target range there. And boom. Another one bites the dust. Well, that's 29 in a row. And that puts all the enemies over here, huh? Well, we'll hit you over. Could I have used Pyramid Power to probably wipe out a good chunk of them? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I guess those enemies do make for effective weapons now. After all, you know, they got much higher base stats. And we still got four more maps. Okay, just keep going. And please, just drop. Sad so, parts, I'm pretty sure the next one requires 60 floors, and I gets like an enemy group of a thousand. Admittedly, that's not very hard. And you gotta go through that many floors, like the levels are gonna go up much higher after a while. It's probably wanna start with a much lower level item. If I just have to finish there, I don't need to start there. Finish you off. And, uh, take you out. Most definitely. 31, so just three more to go. Okay, I guess I'll use Pyramid Power if I can get enough of these guys. But first things first, we should EX punch this enemy. Okay, can I get enough of them to make this worth my time? Okay, we can finish off all three of these guys. Not my most powerful technique, obviously, but it's fine. 
I could also do it on those trees, I guess, but I don't feel like it. I just want to kill the enemies and move on. Spending time on special effects is just going to slow me down. Let's see, we'll take out a lizard boy there. And we got here a blacksmith. Okay. And a doggy boy. Poor dude. Oh, and there's a werewolf over here. Okay. Guess I could have aimed for a tree there, but whatever. I don't need it. And now the final stage. Full of owl. Okay. So no jacked up enemy, just it's just full of owls. Okay. I can deal with that. Yeah, my biggest fear is, you know, what the bonus stages are. Because they can be the worst. And when you go on into dungeons like this, you can potentially get to the final floor and it's like, oh, you have to fight a self-stylized god. And all of a sudden, you know, you're screwed, because you're not going to be prepared for it. Okay. Now to beat the crap out of this one, because it's closest. Well, this stage was full of owls. Now they're almost all gone. And let's finish you off. Okay. Yes, we completed it. We now have the title of uh, that, uh, which isn't very good. Because <laughs> it doesn't have an experience bonus or anything on it. Yes, while I was out. Oh, I can now make a corgi? <laughs> yes, the world map. What the? Why didn't it unlock a new map? Oh, the Island of Evil has a new question, question, question map. Okay, so we do have a new one. Okay. They just didn't make any fanfare about it, apparently. Till next time, then. See ya.